um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna do a little Photoshop tutorial. See if you guys like it. See if you don't. See if you learn something. See if you don't. Who cares? Who knows? So I don't know if you've seen these swipe things on Instagram. I'm gonna show you the one first that we will be. Sh I'll show you how I did it. Um, it's basically just a strip of an image. So the image is gonna be consistent from start to finish. Here's a few ones I've done throughout the years of concerts I've photographed. And then, of course, I didn't invent the wheel. So here's some inspo that taught me how to do it. Not taught me how to do it, but inspired me to do it and to do it my way. And, of course, to start, you got to pick which photos you want. I edit my photos in Lightroom. So once you get into Photoshop, you're going to want to open an image. Well... An Instagram square is 3,000 by 3,000 pixels, so you're going to want an open image height 3,000 by whatever width you're going to do. So whether it be three images, you're going to do 3,000 by 9,000. Here we are doing nine images, so we're going to do 3,000 by 27,000. So to get how we're going to swipe and where the images are going to lay out, we're going to want to create a 3,000 by 3,000 basic Instagram square and put that at the start and then layer it so you can see each one kind of like a checkerboard um and then you could just do that by creating one copying pasting copying pasting copying pasting so you get your little strip there and it's done and if you want to put them in a the folder keep it organized because you're gonna not, not be using those other than using them for um an outline for where the swipes will be and what slide is which? So, so slide one, two, three, four, five. Blah blah blah. And then so from here, go into your catalog of whatever you're trying to swipe. You know, like um, if you shot a concert, if you shot a portrait of families, whatever you shot. In this case, I shot these people on a stage. So go into there, pick the photos you like, and you want to add to this little swipe um, carousel. I don't know whatever you want to call it. So from there, just like you pick. So, first one I liked, Kyle Lowry, toss that in. He's the uh, he's the guy that's always on the team, you know, I he's the guy. So you wanna put that underneath the squares, keep those checkered squares above, turn those to 50 opacity so you can see where the swipe will be, like between the black and the white is the in between. Putting the boy there, figuring out what's gonna go next, you kinda gonna get the layout, get the lay of the land on your own, you know figure out what goes what it's kind of like a puzzle we're gonna go with cut this is basically the first shot of him walking out on the second shot like these two are basically shot right beside each other so this is gonna be easy to line up and kind of makes sense to put them beside each other and from there you just mess around till you get them where you think they're gonna be lined up in your imagination imagine them cut out from this point gonna get some JT in there toss him in there one key thing is a lot of the stuff so you're gonna cut out points of Kyle right here with the pen tool but a lot of the stuff you're gonna want um, it to be clipped at the top of the image so you can have an easy transition to whatever the next image is the first images will block whatever's behind and to do so, to cut out whatever that is, you gotta use the pen tool. And to do the pen tool, you click, and then the second place you click, drag it without letting go till you get the curve you like, and then you hold option to get to the next curve you like, and then you click, drag it again to get the curve you like, option, click, boom, 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 boom. You do that up the way, so once you cut out, you're gonna wanna click the final close the gap and then within those gaps you're going to want to double click on the subject itself so kyle click my make selection and you're going to do want to do um feather blur around one pixel two pixel maybe so it's not just like a sharp edge not like it's cut out of paper you know what i'm saying so it's just like has a little bit of like blur to it so it's not just as sharp and that's really all that it does so one or two feather pixels whatever it's called one or two, <laughs> you'll see it when you do it. And then from there, you know, check. Is it is it good? What's he looking like? Let's see. Boom. All right. I liked it. I liked it at the time. Obviously, this is recorded. Not the same time. This is recorded way earlier. 
I'm just talking about it now. So it looks good. So there's going to be little details that you're going to want to cover up little things with, you know. Um, so in this case, this is the speaker. I want to cover up this motherfucker's legs and see if it looks better covered up, you know. Because sometimes little details matter and you just want to cover up some shit so it looks a little more cohesive with the next image. Boom, like there you go. I feel like in my opinion that looked better. But see the top of the speaker is a little sharp for my liking. So you go in, blur, you can get a blur tool, motion blur, or sorry, not blur tool, motion blur. Because uh, that is just a subject itself. Toss it in, boom. Blur it up a little bit, you're, you're a little better. You're a little better off. All right, back to JT. So we're on the third image at this point, right? So yeah, I believe we're gonna be putting JT behind Pascal Siakam, we might be putting him in front of him, but either way, we're going to cut him out, Pascal Siakam, because we're going to be using him as the transition into image number three. So, we are going to... Okay, sometimes when you cut out the image, it might displace it like, by a pixel or two off, so you're definitely going to have to zoom in to like 1800, and just to get that one little pixel over. But whatever, it happens. I don't know how to fix it. You can do a thousand things to do one thing in Photoshop. If you could fix it easier, just tell me. Um, you can do a bunch of ways to do it, you know? Teach me how. And then next up, we're going to cut out JT because he's going to be the transition to image number four. But before that, you got to remember one thing. You always save as you go. So we're going to save here a PSD because this image is going to need to be edited in the future because it doesn't take a day. It took me about two to three days i think to make this thing so always save because always save psd because you need those layers and you will be going back to those layers a bunch during this edit of an image so you can see jt is being cut up he is going to be our wall for the next image and the next image we want was fred van vliet and pascal chilling with the announcer for the raptors that fit in nice easy peasy so our wall for the next side i guess we're going for drake plus raptor cut those bad boys out with the pen tool hold it or click it sorry hold it as you get your curve and then hold option as you get your direction to your next curve click it and then hold it again option click it option click it you'll get it it takes time just google how to do pen tool and then come back to this if you need <laughs> all you're really doing is cutting a pen tool making sure the image is cut off at the top so you can keep the image going as you can see we skipped a little bit ahead i figured out who i'm going to want where and how i'm going to chop it off at the top hope that makes sense if not we'll figure it out google that's what i did so at this point, just clicking things, checking things, getting our bearings, making sure we want it where we want it, and then pen tool. Click, hold, so you get that curve you like. You're going to see once you're holding it and pulling it, and then you hold option to grab that other, give it in the direction you want, and then you check it out. You cut it up. From here, I put on the checkerboard 50% um, opacity, whatever you want to call it, folder we've got just to make sure the transitions or the in-between of the swipes on the Instagram carousel are where I want it. And then I kind of have it done from there, but there might be little details and little spots that don't really look too smooth, so you're just gonna wanna look at it. You're not gonna wanna just finish it. But we're not done in Photoshop yet. One of the final things is I go to effects on each layer, so we'll start with Kyle. Then we'll go to JT, all these different people we cut out, all these different layers. Go down to the bottom layers panel and press effects. Go to the bottom of that bad boy. You go to drop shadow. Just mess around with it from there. You're not going to want to have it 90 degrees. You want to have it kind of matching with every degree. So let's say put it at 45 degree and then click use global lighting so they all match that. But you are not quite done yet because you want to make sure this image looks cohesive in the lighting pop that into lightroom and put an edit on the strip itself the psd strip so the lighting matches 
and um that's it let's hope that worked i don't know if that worked um i'll probably do like one or two more of these for now see if people fucking learn how to edit if they don't then fuck i don't know how to teach so good luck goodbye i'm harrison haynes if i hadn't mentioned it yet later